Haryam, a very good morning to all of you. It is said that Atra Janma Shahashranam Sahashrai Rapi Sattama Kadachit Lavate Jantur Manushyam Punya Sanchaya, which means after thousands of Punya Karma or thousands of births, one really gets an opportunity to get birth in the land of Harata. Children, we are all so fortunate to be Indians. India is our mother, our sacred motherland. So on this occasion today, let us all salute our motherland, Bande Mataram. I congratulate all dear parents and students on the occasion of 73rd Republic Day celebration today. When our nation is celebrating Ajati Ke Amrit Mahatsya, the completion of 75 years of our hard-earned independence, celebrating this 73rd Republic Day adds a lot of meaning and importance to the Mahatsya. A patriotic feeling fills the air and all of us enjoy singing the glory of our motherland. Isn't it children? Bharat humko jaan se pyara hai Sab se nyara gulista hamara hai Bharat humko jaan se pyara hai Our motherland India is dearer to us, even dearer to us than our own lives. That's very, very true. I hope that all of you have understood what is Republic Day, what's the significance of this day, little bit. India got its independence on 15th August 1947, but that was not really the freedom which we got. To say, to understand what is freedom, we had to wait still further and we really became independent in true sense on 26th January 1950. After 15th of August, India was headed by King George VI till the Constitution of India came into force on this particular day in the year 1950. This is a day when India declared itself a democratic republic nation. The evolution of India from a British colony to a sovereign, democratic and secular nation was certainly historic. It was a long journey that started with conceptualization of this vision in 1930 to its comprehension in 1950. It was a long journey and definitely very difficult children. The true strength of independence was enjoyed on this particular day in the year 1950 and the constitution gave the Indian citizens the power to administer themselves by opting for their own government. The people got the right to franchise their vote and form their own government. So this day commemorates Indian citizens' power to choose their government democratically. Isn't it a great day, children? So for that reason, we celebrate this with a lot of joy and enthusiasm. Let's remember today on this occasion the architect of the Indian constitution, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, who took the leading role to frame such a huge constitution for such a vast country. It was a huge and very important task that he completed within a fixed span of time. And for this reason, we all owe to this great person who gave us the constitution. 
show. Let us remember today this great man. On this day only our country became a sovereign republic. The preamble of our constitution says that India is a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and it promises justice, liberty, equality and fraternity to all its citizens. Means Nyay, Swatantrata, Samata and Bandhuta. Beautiful words, children. To live a peaceful and happy life, we need all these four values. If out of these four, any one also we don't get or achieve in our lives, our life does not remain a happy one or smooth one anymore. So hence, our preamble, our constitution has given every citizen of this country the right to get Nyaya, Shatantrata, Shamata and Bandhuta and all these values have been taken from the ancient Indian culture and values. Now the question is on the 75th year of independence, have the citizens got all this? Has the Republic of India ensured all this to its citizens? If this question is asked, all of us will shout a big no. Though many of us lead a comfortable life, enjoy all this in our lives, still then we will say no. This is because we citizens are very much aware of our rights, what we should get that we all are very much aware and sincere about it. But what we should give in return to the motherland, to this society, to this nation that perhaps we really do not understand. Our Pujya Gurudev Swami Chinmayanandaji says, giving more than what we take is the true spirit of a human being. We are enjoying freedom which is not earned by us and so we do not know how costly it is. So when India was under the British rule and prior to that under the foreigners invasion and tolerated the torture of foreign rule for a consistently for a longer period of uh, uh, period that is more than thousand years then when they got freedom on 15th August 1947, they might have realized how costly it is. But today, after 74 years, perhaps we do not realize what is independence. So for us, independence is a small thing. But children, when we consider the independence to be our birthright and we use it as if it is our right and for that we do not have to give anything, then independence becomes licentious. And this licentiousness and that only takes all of us away from our own line. And so what happens today in India? Lot of things. Today let us not discuss the negative things. But however, what we see in our country and sometimes we are not happy, who is responsible for that? Who we, we are thinking? We all think for this our government, our system is to be blamed. We blame our government, our system for our plight. Who is government? What is the system? What is a country? Basically all these consist of citizens, that is Indians. And we elect the government, we only elect the government. It is by us the government rules us. And then we start blaming the government and we frame the system and we are the country. During last two years of a pandemic when the whole world was thinking that India cannot face this challenge, this pandemic, such a huge country and a developing nation where illiteracy, poverty and uh, so many other problems are there, 
how can they face this pandemic so sure, but this uh, country only within a very short span of time our scientists our um, people of medicine they developed the vaccine and today we are all almost free out of this great pandemic so this is because india became one while fighting and could succeed our scientists our doctors our health workers our public all came together to fight so this is our culture this is indianness our culture our tradition our age old practices that only made us successful to fight and to be the winner honesty truth brotherhood compassion and love these are the culture these are the things the values which we have got from our own ancient forefathers we have this ideology in our blood this is being indians so hence we always try to let us try to understand that we are indians our own culture and tradition that only makes us the most powerful brains uh, in the entire world and so instead of asking what the nation provides us this nay samata bandhuta and swatantrata let us give to all others in the society let's give nay or justice to others let us maintain samata or bandhuta and exercise our swatantrata and that will be the real free nation ours is a country of love and brotherhood let's not divide ourselves for little selfish gain which is really happening today in the society right from a family to the larger society let's take oath under the tricolor to be good citizens first to be the perfect in our own sphere if the students become perfect students if the teachers become perfect teachers if the parents do their own duty of giving the real education to the children everybody in their own field if they do their duty to be a perfect one then perhaps our country will be the best with so much with us today if we perform our duty to the best of our capacity without expecting more than what we gain then it will be the best gift that we shall give to mother india our brave army persons fighting for us day and night we need not fight or sacrifice our lives they are readily standing there for that so what can we do to glorify our country to give that great past to our nation today by being true indian citizens by doing our duty perfectly by being honest by being truthful by loving our neighbors by loving other indians by helping others if we can do this then we shall do more than anyone else that will be our sacrifice today by sacrificing our selfish desires if we can do this then it will be a great contribution to the to the total country to the nation and it will be a beautiful bharata and if we all do our duty then we can build atmanirbhar bharata which is the clarion call of the uh, prime minister today he calls all of us to make our country atmanirbhar so that we do not have to depend on other countries for our small small needs which we are doing today for that indians have the greatest brain and they are one of the most intelligent people but it is our lack of self confidence and all these great values that we are unable 
to attain the great success and we have to depend on others so hence on this particular day 73rd republic day during azadi ke amrit mahotsav let us learn to know the glory of our country it's not only to sing it but to realize and to understand how great this land is and we are really fortunate so in order to make our country greater we have to come together hold our hands and sing the glory not only in our lips but through our hard work and show the freedom which is given to all of us after these many years on the 75th year of our independence we can do something great so let's all do it children jai hind hari om